Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Sunday, October 30th, 2016 and uh, this is just a quick video. I hope to make a more detailed video later on when I, I get some more time. But just discussing, is there a Planet X or not? Now this is a post that I put on my Facebook page and I've since posted it as a document so that it's easier to find. And in it I detail this question about is there a Planet X or not and we also discuss Planet 9 because a lot of people are getting confused between Planet 9 and Planet X and they seem to think that Planet 9 is the same thing as Nibiru Planet X. No it is not. So for those people who won't read through the document I will read it for you so you can just kick back, close your eyes and listen and you won't have to do any work by reading it. So here we go. Is there a planet X or not? If you mean a brown dwarf or rogue planet passing through our solar system, visible on webcams and mobile phone cameras, etc., and affecting the Earth and the other planets, then no, definitely not. If you mean a large planet way beyond the orbit of Neptune and Pluto, then quite possibly. We are discovering new minor planets and other objects, even exoplanets, all the time, thanks to improved space telescopes and new technologies. Planet 9, as it has been dubbed, is a hypothetical planet that may exist in the very far reaches of our solar system, way beyond the orbit of Neptune and Pluto. The two researchers, Brown and Batigen, have said that if their hypothetical Planet 9 exists, its orbit would bring it no closer than 200 AU from our Sun, which is 200 times the distance between the Sun and the Earth, or 30 billion kilometres. No one, not even Brown and Batigen, have ever seen or imaged the hypothetical Planet 9, and it is for this reason that they can only estimate that its hypothetical orbital period of somewhere between 10,000 and 20,000 years. When we know where an object is, we can accurately calculate its orbital period. The nearest brown dwarf is 6.5 light years away, which is just over 2 light years further away than the nearest star to our sun. If there was a brown dwarf or large rogue planet within our solar system and within the orbit of Neptune, it would be easily detectable by anyone with a modest telescope. Astronomers all over the Earth would be imaging it and talking about it, despite what the conspiracy nuts say. If there was a brown dwarf or large rogue planet within the orbit of Saturn, it would be clearly visible to the naked eye, because just like all the other planets, moons, asteroids, comets, within our solar system, it would reflect visible light. This is the same reason we can all see Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, and our own moon with our naked eyes in visible light. We can also see Neptune and Uranus using ordinary optical telescopes in visible light. I have imaged Pluto with a 14-inch telescope in visible light. People who say that Nibiru Planet X can only be seen in infrared have no understanding of what they are talking about. They are simply parroting what they have heard others say who also do not know what they are talking about. The only reason brown dwarfs are imaged in infrared is because they are so very far away from our sun that they are too far away to reflect enough visible sunlight to be detected in the visible light spectrum. So we have to use infrared. And remember that the nearest brown dwarf is 6.5 light years away. So no, there is no planet X Nibiru within our solar system or anywhere near us. And remember, these nutters have been saying that Nibiru, Planet X, is here or coming next week, next month, next year, since Nancy Leader of Zeta Talk announced that Planet X would be here in 2003. And she is still banging on about it. Planet 9, according to the research, is supposed to have an orbital period of somewhere between 10,000 and 20,000 years, so maybe in the region of 15,000 years. Nibiru Planet X, on the other hand, is supposed to have an orbital period of 3,600 years. Planet 9, according to the research, is supposed to come no closer to our Sun 
than 200 AU, or approximately 30 billion kilometers, which is way out beyond the orbit of Neptune and Pluto. Nibiru, planet X, on the other hand, according to the fearmongers, is supposed to pass right through our inner solar system once or twice every 3,600 years. Planet 9, according to the research, is supposed to have a mass of 10 times that of the Earth. Nibiru planet X is supposed to be four times the diameter of Jupiter. Jupiter has 318 times the mass of the Earth. You do the sums. Do you notice a few differences there between planet 9, which may indeed exist, and Nibiru planet X? I have been debunking planet X Nibiru for five years now, and I've heard it all before. This document can be found on my Dazza the Cameraman Facebook page. I'll post a link in the description area, and I will update this document from time to time as I find new information. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.